Used to be, you wanted a big SUV, you had to get one that was built on a truck frame. But that brings some sacrifices. Now, manufacturers are building large car base or unibody SUVs. This Chevrolet Traverse is a great example. It's the size of a full-size truck-based Chevy Tahoe, but the Traverse shows that there are definite advantages in going a car-based direction. First off, the Traverse drives really well. In fact, it feels like a much smaller vehicle than it is. The steering is responsive, and the body doesn't lean much in the corners. Emergency handling is stable and secure. It's aided by standard stability control. The car-like driving experience carries over to the ride. The ride is supple and controlled. On the highway, it's a smooth cruise. It also helps that this big cabin is quiet inside. There's not much road noise or wind noise. There is a muted hum from the 3.6 liter direct injection V6 engine. Now this engine provides decent power, but we wish a transmission downshifted a little more quickly, especially on hills. Fuel economy, it's better than truck-based SUVs, but you're still hauling around a 5,000 pound vehicle. On the plus side, the Traverse can tow a good sized trailer, even though it's not a truck-based SUV. Another reason you buy a big SUV is for interior space, and the Traverse has plenty of it. Ours is set up to carry seven, but you can get it equipped to carry eight adults comfortably. The interior is well trimmed, although it's not luxurious. For example, most of the plastics are hard. The big front seats are quite comfortable, although some found that the head restraint was too close. There's plenty of room in the second row seats. They slide backwards and forwards. They even recline. Getting to the third row seat is surprisingly easy. The middle row, it folds up, slides out of the way. That gives you a good passageway to get back to the seat. And once you're back here, you'll find there's even room for adults. And there's still some room left for luggage behind it. And if you fold all of those rear seats down, you're left with a ton of cargo space. The controls in here are pretty simple. For example, the radio, it's high up on the dash, easy to use. There's a few annoyances though. For one, some of the climate control buttons are pretty small to press. Also, we wish the button for the rear wiper was on the stalk rather than down here on the console. A bigger annoyance is rear visibility. The high rear window and the long vehicle makes seeing when backing up tough. This rear view camera in the mirror helps though. Another help, these delightfully low tech inset mirrors on the outside door mirrors. They show what's in your blind spot. Like the similar Buick Enclave and GMC Acadia, the Chevrolet Traverse is a well-rounded SUV. It's got an extremely roomy and quiet interior and it drives a lot like a car. All in all, it's an extremely appealing package.